Prime Minister to help Ukraine and indigenous Muslim. And we see Basant Kaira, the Secretary to the Ministry, and the Additional Secretary of the School in the Arabic. And the Deputy Director General of the Ministry of the Service, Dr. Arashad de Silva, and Dr. Kaira, the Deputy Director General of the Ministry of Supply Division, and the Director of the Sudarshan of the Ministry. And the former chairman of the State Farms Corporation, and the former president of the Sri Lanka Legal Council, and the former president of the Sri Lanka SLAS, uh, and uh, the officer Colin Ratna, and Dr. Bhumi, the chairman of the SPC, Dr. Wilfred, the, uh, the, the managing director. Mr. Dinesh Rasanayan, the general manager, and all deputy general managers, all other uh, members of the director board, and all the staff of the SPC, uh, and also the representatives from the SPC network abroad, from abroad and local, and officials from the Ministry of Health and the SPC. And this in this case, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to all of you. I am very much pleased to associate myself with the SPC Supply as One Nation 2019 and the opportunity to meet both representatives from the SPC Global Suppliers Network as well as SPC staff this morning. I came to know that the first suppliers convention was held in 1997, almost 25 years after the establishment of SPC and has continued to date since then annually with some interviews. The primary objective of establishing the State Pharmaceutical Corporation almost half a century ago in September 1971 was to provide pharmaceutical medications of good quality and efficacy to the patients at a reasonable and affordable price. This initiative was the result of the 1971 State Drugs Report prepared by the late Professor Sherry Kabibile, ably assisted by Dr. S. A. Vikramsi. This report resulted in the establishment of the State Pharmaceutical Corporation with my socialist guru, Professor Sherry Kabibile, who is described as a medical genius and a humanist, as his founding chairman. We can be proud that our health indicators are at par with those in many developed countries. Thanks to the improved healthcare delivery, including health promotion and enhanced preventive services. This has been highlighted in many global many global healthcare forums, which I attended. The Commonwealth Secretary General, Lairus Patricia Scotland, in an open speech at the Commonwealth Health Minister's Conference, held on the sideline of the 71st World Health Assembly. In Geneva, highlighted Sri Lanka as a shining example in health coverage for its population, which he said was extending the service delivery to near universal health. She also appreciated Sri Lanka for the initiative for innovative and forward looking approach aimed to promote affordable health care for all its people, building upon the health service delivery system that had been in place in Sri Lanka since 19. In a keynote speech at the event, Grasha Mission, the late, the, the wife of famous freedom fighter Samuel Ra Mission, and later the wife of Nelson Mandela, she said that the economy of a country is not relevant to, give, uh, to deliver a good health service. The glaring example is Sri Lanka, she said. She said Sri, Sri Lanka's health indicators are better than certain states of USA and in par with in total with the USA. So she said that USA is those USA is 15 times richer than Sri Lanka has the same, the equal uh, uh, good health services in that country. The similar sentiment were expressed by Microsoft Corporation founder Bill Gates at the joint plenary session of the Commonwealth Business Leaders Forum held in London. In April 2018, he invited the Commonwealth to look, look to Sri Lanka to know 
what high quality primary health care meant. Our state pharmaceutical cooperation has played a key role over the years in this success by providing good quality and efficacious medicine, medicinal drugs for the government hospitals and to the general public through their retail outlets. Apart from the import of quality drugs at a competitive price, in the mid-1970s, SPC started establishing a network of retail outlets of Rajo Sussalas. The first in the chain was the 24-hour outlet set up in Kalabu 7, the town hall branch. The island-wide retail network now consists of 24 uh, of 42 outlets, providing quality medicinal drugs to the public at, a, at an affordable price, playing a key role as a price determiner and a stabilizer. Needless to say that since its inception, the suppliers have played a human service in helping the SPC to sustain and even expand its services to the public by supplying good quality medication in a timely fashion, honoring the provisions in the supply contract with the SPC. However, the supply process is one influenced by many factors and challenges with careful, skilled manufacturing man 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 with drug manufacturers and principal suppliers. In the same way, the SPC too has to play a bumpy road in ensuring timely supply of drugs to the ministry and the public. Thus, it is inevitable that at times both suppliers and the SPC may not see eye to eye on many issues. In such situations, it is important to discuss the issues at stake with an open mind and find a way forward. In this respect, suppliers' convention of the present nature serves as an ideal platform to iron out any differences and strengthen the bonds and chart a smooth way forward. I am pleased to note we have with us suppliers from all over the world giving the convention a truly international flavor. I have also been made to understand that we have many experts who with us today to help us help you better understand thorny issues in the pharmaceutical supply and trade. This assembly also serves not only as a platform for our domestic suppliers to meet up, network and exchange experiences with fellow, with fellow suppliers but also to interact with SPC staff in a very cordial atmosphere. I also wish to take this opportunity to put out, record my appreciation of the significant contribution and commitment of the staff of the SPC in making a viable entity thus enabling us to grant a 50% salary increase in 2018 and also make a 3 months bonus payment in 2019. SPC management too should be commended for its steady growth in a very volatile market environment. In this regard, I wish to make special mention to Dr. Rumi, Chairman SPC, for his commitment to sustain an uninterrupted supply to the National Hospital chain and the network of SPC. I also wish to thank the managing director, Dr. Wilfred, the board of directors, management and the staff of the SPC for their good work and the loyalty to the institution and also organizing this colorful event. In conclusion, while con conveying my best wishes for the successful convention, I wish all the foreign participants a wonderful present stay in Sri Lanka. Thank you.